Welcome, everybody. This is Jeff Finn once again here hosting Brunch with Bobby. Uh, special day today. We have Bobby Babis with us as always, but also a couple of special guests, uh, Chris Sayer and Mike Lair, who run our uh, 3D virtual reality uh, side of Realnex. And they're going to be showing us some really powerful new tools that they've developed and enhancements to uh, some of our legacy products that will help to showcase properties, uh, embed them in your presentation, embed them in your listings, use them for marketing, use them for virtual tours, and particularly in this uh, new world that we live in, help to enable remote control uh, property showings. So I think it's really timely and important, and uh, I think you're going to love what you have to see. Next week we have up on Tuesday a lease restructuring uh, program with Dr. Jeff Fisher. Uh, we've done some great work inside of Market Edge to enhance that and, and position it even more effectively for the current environment, uh, as I'm sure you're all aware and involved with. There's going to be a lot of lease restructures, lease uh, renegotiation, and the opportunity to model those and to uh, figure out the right way to defer rent and, and push it forward is going to be uh, you know, more important than, than ever as we go through and come out of this um, corona world that we're in. And uh, then on Thursday, uh, property tours, our tour book and uh, uh, you know watch lists and it sort of bring those pieces together, how we can show space uh, within the, the real next environment, use the, uh, the negotiation tools, the evaluation tools, as well as the, the, the virtual tours to help uh, bring that all together and you see the rest of the calendar down below. So I'm going to get started just real quickly. We want to talk about a couple of a few few different things today. One is hosted property listing. So uh, I'm sure most of you have listing engines on your your site. You've got properties embedded in, in your site. Uh, we do this very efficiently for you in case you're not already using the Realnex MP Direct engine, it uh, it automatically can take the data that you have in CRM or Market Edge, publish it into our global marketplace, and display it locally for you on your website, and give you the full power of Market Edge for uh, integrated email marketing, lead capturing, and detailed metrics on who's looking at what what properties, um, who's opening your emails and we also have this integrated into our deal room so you can see who's actually looking at uh, certain files and documents within and property offerings and we talked about the deal rooms a little bit uh, on, on prior sessions so just real quickly just want to show you a few different iterations where uh, your website your another client's website and this is actually an association which we can we can uh, integrate and aggregate all of the members in an association to showcase their properties across a portfolio and host them in one website. And then a few different property display views that you've got um, to take advantage of. So actually go into one, you'd see a MDL here, uh, a little bit of a different search engine, a full screen view, and then you can drill down into a property, get a quick view, get a map view, street view if you wanted to look at it into Google, which is just a, a straight integration there, or you can pop open the, the details of the property and come right into the, the full listing and marketplace and, and use it for lead capturing and uh, lead generation. So you get the full power of marketplace basically on your desktop, in, on your computer, on your website, and what is Great about this, in addition to the, the power of the display and the marketing benefit, is the pricing that we've come up with for this. So for Real Next clients, if you have five or more suite subscriptions, we will just do this for you. We'll put it on your, your site and, and make it available. And low cost alternatives, uh, if you're using Loop Link or other alternatives, they are, they're much higher. So we, we've tried to create a very low cost and efficient model to embed your listings on your website for your property marketing. And what you're going to see next is now how we can take 3D models, uh, build them, showcase your offerings, uh, either of future development or existing projects uh, with how they might um, 
be redeployed in the future and how they can actually be integrated into the marketplace as well as market edge so um again it's uh, it's really excited to have the 3d team on board with us here i will turn the controls over to mike lurg who's gonna show you how you can take advantage of 3d modeling if you just give me one second i will turn the controls over and of course as we we get through the session to the uh the back end of the process and throughout the session any questions that you have thoughts that you have on, on any topic you know obviously more on point the better but on any topic we'll be glad to uh, bring them up and address them as we go through and then at the, the back end of the presentation so use the question box and i'll curate them as we uh, get to that point so mike it's all yours okay. all right so <clears throat> chris thayer our lead art director and myself will be giving uh, the bulk of this presentation along with uh, bobby and so we've had a lot of experience between uh, the two of us uh, we each have over uh, 20 years of experience in using 3D for virtual reality, for visualization, simulation, and training, uh, both in real estate and other industries, and then um, actually have built some of the uh, uh, cutting edge technologies used across many industries, uh, the military and government. For uh, RealNext VR, we have three main products, which is QuickTour, which is what we're gonna focus on today. It's our high quality, very affordable, web deployed solution for VR and 3D solutions. Real fit allows you to do real fits, do test fits in real time in 3D on your tablet or on a computer and not wait weeks uh, for an architect to get back to you. And Property Match is our highest quality, most powerful solution with a lot of options. Um, it's uh, really designed for like a showroom type experience where you can customize capabilities and see what the pricing is uh, while you make a modifications to the virtual environment in real time. Some of our additional offerings and capabilities is building 3D stacking plans, as well as embedding, embedding video chats, data layers, and gamification, as well as the ability to, with, especially with Property Max, ability to include drone footage, uh, annotate models, combine VR and video. Uh, really, the, the, there is no limit as to what we can do um, it's just a matter of what's the return on investment and what's the value of adding uh, those features. So <clears throat> the return on investment of VR is higher than traditional marketing methods. It's been shown that uh, people that have 3D or 3D VR solutions on their website, the people visiting the site stay longer, they're hooked longer. Uh, it could be used over the whole life cycle of the property. It accelerates the design and approval and development process. So in, in one of our cases that we'll be talking about, uh, we actually helped them get through the zoning process because uh, they were going up a story compared to their neighbors. It provides a multifaceted marketing collateral for one price, which will give demonstrations of that, and allow uh, potential buyers and tenants to explore a property anytime, anywhere, even if it's uh, pre-development. And that's really one of its uh, key strong points is you can't photograph or give a tour of a property before it's built. As well as customize a property and instantly see their property and the cost. So that's what we're talking about being able to change uh, the countertops or the walls or furniture uh, layouts, uh, styles, things like that. Do various options of both uh, the layout of the space as well as the materials. And then we can obviously, this obviously reduces the transaction cycles because of the speed of decision making is accelerated because people are visualizing it much quicker and understanding and making more clear decisions. So then that also becomes, overcomes social distancing uh, restrictions because you can give a tour to anyone anywhere again um, at any time. So there's really the, the, the use field through the whole family life, through the whole building life cycle of pre-development, development, and finished property. So from several studies, 75% of uh, U.S. Uh, adults would like to see a VR tour before seeing properties. 66% prefer brokers who offer VR tours. And 89% believe that their firm should use VR in the sales and marketing efforts. So one of the main reasons is it's been proven numerous times that 75% of people cannot visualize a 3D space by looking at a 2D drawing. For example, this site plan. 
uh, for for the layman that's uh, you know, not uh, educated, it's going to be hard to understand the topography lines with uh, these trees are getting removed and here's where the buildings are going to be. So it's very confusing to see. And for very little money and a two-day turnaround, we can actually build something that puts in this place on a vacant lot to show what the uh, building property's perspective could be. So we deliver an interactive VR model and rendering. Yeah, let me take over from here, Mike, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. All right, can you guys see my screen? You got it. Okay, great. All right, so hopefully you guys are excited, um, you know, as, uh, and it's just to tack on to what Mike was saying. Um, what we're gonna show you is some really great, high quality quick tours. And what is a quick tour? A quick tour is a virtual tour you know, because sometimes people, when they hear the word VR, they have a very specific idea of what a VR model is. And what we mean by VR is we mean something that's in immersive, interactive, and uh, gives you the ability to understand the space, the layout, and the uh, the overall plan in far greater detail and far easier, uh, you know, uh, context than any traditional 2D plan. So what I'm going to do here is I've got this link embedded right into this PDF going to click and what that's going to do and this is important it's going to load up a web page now why this is important is that our quick tours are delivered uh, via the web so if you have an internet connection an internet connected device be it an Apple be it your phone be it a Windows be it Linux be it whatever it is doesn't matter the device doesn't matter the operating system you're able to share view and interact in a virtual model and so what you're looking at right here is that same 2D plan uh, that Mike was showing off a minute ago. And so we've got the buildings here, we've got the layout of the land, we've got the parking lot. And uh, some of you are probably looking at it going, yeah, I get it perfectly, but I would guess that most of you are going, eh, it's not too easy to understand. Well, you know, what's fantastic about this, and you can see in the upper right-hand corner, is I've got um, all these little quick, um, you know, quick buttons here to navigate. And we're gonna go from the 2D plan over to the 3D. So now we can see right away, we've got a nice colorized idea of uh, where the parking lot is. You can see the structure of the rooftops. You can see some of the, the roads that are over here. Uh, but what's even better is that because this is full, real-time, interactive 3D in your web browser, all I need to do is I can go here and I can say, let's go take a, take a look at it from another point of view. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna drop me into the scene. And so from here, just by clicking left and right and dragging, I can say, hmm, all right, let's see, let's take a look at the buildings in better detail. I can click, I can rotate, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. And because we have multiple points of view already set up in the scene, one click takes you to many points of understanding. And as you can see, I'm clicking back and forth and we're looking from like a drone eye view throughout the scene. Uh, but what's even better about this is that I can drop directly into the scene itself. So while I'm overhead, now I can go in, one click, pull, drag, look, pan, one click on the ground, gets me to move. And the reason why I'm pointing out uh, the way this is functioning is that it's important to understand how simple it is to use this product. Very, very simple, very easy, doesn't require somebody that's, uh, you know, a call of duty or, or a PlayStation or an Xbox user to actually utilize. All it requires is, uh, you know, the ability to connect up to the internet and open up any number of devices that you may have or anybody else may have, and then click through predetermined points or click once in a scene. That's simple. Now, let's say you're giving a, a presentation on a property or you're, uh, you know, you're sharing it with somebody that you're saying, you know, I don't know, maybe they're not that comfortable with clicking on all these buttons. I know that can be difficult, but maybe you just don't want to have to click around. What we've got in our quick tours is this auto tour function, which is great because what this does is one click gives you the ability to show off every camera position in the scene, meaning all these different multiple points of view with one click 
it's going to keep rotating through different positions and showing it in a presentation mode. So it's going to automatically tour the property, be it the outside of a site, be it the inside of a site, uh, and help give you a really, really nice uh, presentation of the property to show off. Okay. I'm going to move forward from this one. Once again, see that? That's running in Chrome. It doesn't have to be Chrome. It can be Firefox. It can be Safari. It can be whatever it is that you're running. Uh, it works equally well on all browsers. Now, uh, the main point to make with this, because it's running in a browser, you can put it, you can embed it into a website because it's just a link. We host the content, we give you the link, and it's up to you to decide, do you want to put it into a website? Do you want to just share the link in an email? Do you want to put it up to social media? Uh, do you want to put it into uh, e-marketing materials? And, uh, you know, it's as easy to do that with any uh, number of, uh, you know, uh, different campaigns. And so what I'm going to show here is we have this industrial warehouse. And uh, there's a couple of things that make this particularly important. Uh, and what this is going to do is demonstrate the ability to take your uh, tour and add all sorts of layered information into it. Now, uh, you know, I'm going to turn this button off for a minute. And what this does, this is going to turn off some hotspots that we have in the scene. It's going to turn it off for a minute. And once again, go over this real quick. We come over here. We click. We're going around to different points of the scene. Super simple, super quick, very easy to understand. Um, so I'm going to come back over here to the front point of view, and I'm going to go back to what I had initially, which was these little points of uh, points of interaction in the scene. Let's say, in this case, for this particular client, this was important. Let's say you want to customize a particular point in a space be it a surface of a countertop or outside of a building, whatever it might be, all that takes is one click. And now, once I've clicked this, you can see I have these multiple options that I can come through and I can change the surface texture of the material on this model. And while, like I said, this is the outside of one particular point of this model, this could be anything in here. It could be the walls, it could be the floor, it could be uh, any number of options that uh, we could attach to this. Now, the other thing that's really great about this is that we also have, if you click on this guy, uh, the ability to open up a separate web page. So this comes right back to the PIX uh, website here. And you can see we've launched that in another tab. So imagine embedding into the actual virtual tour, uh, maybe the information for the uh, sales agent, maybe the information uh, for the actual site itself. So maybe you don't have this embedded in your web page, but you want to open up your web page, you know, whatever it might be. Um, another feature and function that we have inside of this quick tour is the ability to put in a Google Street View and a Google Map. So I want to know where this property is in the world. I can't tell where it is. And, you know, just looking at it in 3D, what that does is that opens up uh, Google Maps here. And from Google Maps, we can go in, we can do the satellite image view, we can scroll in and scroll out just like we would if we were using it, uh, you know, inside of a browser window. So the other point that's really great, and hopefully hopefully this gets some folks excited, let's go into the warehouse. Now, what we're showing this in the sense of a warehouse, remember, that's, this is not limited to an industrial property. This can be done in multiple ways, um, you know, and I'll show it here and then I'll explain a little more. Um, so, for the client here, it was important for them to, uh, you know, to show exactly what uh, type of extinguishers they had set up in the space, what type of lighting, and what model of door is going to be included in this facility. Uh, this way, it makes it easy to uh, easy to understand exactly what somebody's getting. So, what we've got here is we've got the video embedded directly into the quick tour. So you can see it's still inside the quick tour, it's in a frame. And uh, what we're doing is we're giving a complete multi-layered experience inside of one interactive space, right? So what would normally take multiple pages of a PDF, uh, multiple, you know, go here, go there, go open another website to go take a look at this particular piece of information. We're making this as easy as possible to understand uh, in one space that's highly interactive and highly easy, 
highly easy to use, very easy to use. So, you know, you can see I clicked here, I got a video. I clicked here, I've got the product information for this particular uh, light. And then once again, I click here and I'm going to get some information on the door coming up. And, you know, we can just click right through this. So these are embedded, uh, you know, PDFs and websites within the actual tour itself versus opening a new page. And then let's say maybe you just want to get some basic information on something. Uh, one click also gives you a pop-up of, you know, some basic text. Maybe you want to know what the size of the, the home is. Maybe you want to know what the size of the business is, you know, the, the leasing, uh, square footage, whatever it might be. We can put all that right into the quick tour. And, uh, you know, one of the other things that we'll go to real quick, there's some offices here. So, you know, let's say I want to know what the office space looks like. Um, we can go right to it. So we can get a nice overhead view of exactly what the layout is, the front door. We can see where the offices are. We can pan around. We can zoom in. We can zoom out. And uh, this gives us far greater understanding and control over the narrative of the space. You know, maybe I'm looking at, you know, with some of the more traditional methods, it's a 2D render or it's just a, you know, it's just an overhead flat, you know, plan of the space. Uh, and sometimes some folks just don't understand where are the doors, where are the windows, what's the layout of the land, and how you know how, what's the flow and the the walkthrough of it. Uh, what's really nice about the interactivity of something like this is it speaks to many people in many different ways. So maybe some person, you know, one person understands something one way, but maybe somebody else doesn't. And you're you're trying to make that connection and, and uh, get them to, you know, understand it on their terms. And here they can interact. They can zoom all the way into one office if they want and take a look around. So, you know, we can go straight into the office and walk through it. So, you know, we're taking a high level idea and drilling down and going further and deeper into a subset of information, as well as giving somebody a full, full virtual experience of a property. And that's the biggest thing that I want uh, people to take away from this is that we're making it easier to understand we're making it more desirable to showcase the property, and we're able to integrate multiple points of information into the property to help sell, uh, you know, points of interest and in why it's such a great uh, deal. The other thing too, and I guess I should point this out, uh, you know, we can also embed uh, Facebook directly into this, or Instagram, or uh, whatever social media it is that you might be tied into that's important to you, and with one click. Uh, publish uh, a link to the tour to your social media campaign and such. So you know, it's important to some folks. Okay, and I am going to hand this control over to Bobby, who is going to show you how to embed uh, something like this tour into your listings. Well, not so much something like this tour. I think we're actually going to be. Uh embedding exactly that tour into our listings in fact. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, it's showing. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, thank you, Chris. Uh, it's awesome uh, seeing that. It's uh, every time I see it, there's all uh, all the new features. And uh, honestly, I really like those uh, embedded buttons directly on the, uh, the uh, like the information button and the, uh, you know, the toggle for the different uh, layers for the building materials and stuff. Those actually look just really pleasing the way that they actually stand out in 3D. So uh, cool job on, on that for sure. And yeah, uh, so this can be, uh, these can be embedded directly into your RealNex marketplace listings and into your market edge uh, marketing materials. So as you see here, we're looking at uh, that actual property here in marketplace that I've got in my system. And this is what it would actually look like from the point of view of someone that's coming to this listing. And you see there's actually a 3D button directly uh, next to the deal room button that displays whether or not there is a deal room or a 3D uh, demo for this listing. And right now it's grayed out as uh, we haven't actually added that in. But it's as simple as going into your listing in Marketplace, clicking on that listing. And of course, if you also have these embedded in your website for uh, uh for direct, that also will uh, allow that 3D tour to show up directly on the listings that appear uh, appear on your website. So kind of a, a double uh, benefit here. So as you scroll down, there's a section for photos and attachments as this is gonna, any URL is actually uh, considered an attachment in the system. So you click into here, 
and click on manage attachments and so we'll have either an option for new file which is how you would of course add any photos which we've already done from some rendering photos directly from the platform so uh, you know really cool you can also use it for exactly those purposes to give you renderings for you know buildings that are in development for example but then you can click on new url and just give the url a name and the important thing here though is that you give it one of the rogue.realnext.com links. So this is the link that you'll be provided with when you are, uh, when you get a quick tour and you paste that into here and we'll just call it 3D quick tour and hit okay. Uh, I think I just didn't save it with the, and hit save. And so now when we refresh on the listing, that 3D button is now live. So it shows up with the green, green and blue colors, letting you know that it's actually an actionable button. And now when someone comes and looks at your listing here at Fayetteville Road and clicks on the 3D button, they'll be taken directly into that quick, quick tour that Chris was just showing us. So it gives you a very easy uh, way to be able to share this information and get a lot more eyes on uh, you know what's you know really an in-depth ability to to look into these buildings. Uh, it's very modern and gives you uh, a leg up on your listings compared to the listings that don't appear with that uh, uh, 3D logo on it. Now this can also be added directly into your marketing materials for Market Edge. So I've got that open here, and there's a couple of different ways you can go about it. So uh, one way that we've uh, you know had people utilize this is they'll actually have it inside of a multiple page like offering a memorandum or you know listing path proposal package and especially in a proposal package showing that you can actually you know have the 3d uh, virtual tours for these uh, can give you definitely a leg up on that so we've got a proposal here where we've got like you know the basic cover sheet and so recently with all of the photos that are actually in market edge these are all able to actually be linked so uh, in this case we've just uh, created a photo that looks like a uh, like that it's going to open up a play button because that's exactly what we're going to do with it. You can click on any of the images and this is going to go for the cover pages. Uh, this is going to be uh, go for any uh, custom pages that you generate or the photo pages. Uh, you can click on the photo, select the photo, and then there's always going to be an add remove link button on each of those. So again, you just go into the add remove link and you can just paste that link for the quick tour directly in there and hit save. And then when you actually go and generate the proposal, either uh, in this case, I uh, created the uh, website for it, but right on our cover page, when it scrolls all the way back, that is now gonna be a clickable link. When you hover over it, you'll see yellow and you'll see the, uh, the URL there. Again, this is gonna take us to that 3D scene where they will be able to just take uh, take that either website that you generate from market edge which that was done by going to publish and e-publish or even a pdf document pdf documents are also able to have embedded links so uh, what a number of people will also do is create a separate section in their uh, full proposal to uh, have a section for 3d virtual tour and they can include a couple of those rendering images directly here and there's a little note that says click on either photo to view the 3d quick tour so again, if you click on that from either a PDF document that's generated from the publish or from the ePublish, it's going to be able to have your uh, clients or whoever sharing whoever you're sharing this document with are going to be able to click on those links and be able to be taken directly to those tours. Then of course you can also just create a quick uh, customizable page. So I'm just going to uh, just have a. I guess we don't have that one. Uh, but I've created also just a quick single page flyer in here. Let's see. Where you can do similar. So I'm just going to drag and drop that in. So with our customizable pages, uh, again, you can go in and add images, maps, and the images that you add, of course, can then be linked to those different uh, different quick tours. So here we've just generated a quick, easy flyer that we can, you know, email out, and you know, hopefully your marketing team's a little bit better at uh, creating engaging uh, items than I am. But that's not really where my area of expertise is. But I, I've seen a number of the uh, flyers that you all send out, and they look way better than anything I do. And uh, it's not a limitation of the uh, platform as much as uh, my eyes. So. 
Uh, but yeah, you can just click on here. And then when you then generate this one page, this is gonna give you a link. So let's actually just, so we can then preview save on our single page flyer. And then we can download the PDF. And so anyone that we distribute this PDF to now, when they view it, let me just zoom out a little bit, these links are now gonna be active and take them directly to that tour as well. So uh, Chris, I'll go ahead and uh, stop the screen share. That was uh, you know, primarily what I wanted to show there and take it back over to you. The, there we go. Okay, show my screen. All right, technical problems. All right. So before, and I'm on this next slide here. But before I do that, I just want to come back to something super quick because I think it is important to some folks. So we were talking about the social media aspect of, uh, you know, uh, one button click and whatnot. Um, one other thing I want to point out, because uh, like I said, this is important to some people, is uh, that we do have the ability from the 3D scene to generate 360 degree images for sharing to Facebook. So what you're going to see here on my screen is uh, one of our quick tours. And uh, what we've done is we've, we've done exactly that. We've got a one kind of a, a vantage point here where you can do a 360 degree look around inside of a scene. Uh, once again, on your phone, share it to social media. People can look at it, click it, and you can do some, you know, some nice verbiage with it, and uh, make sure that uh, you know you're showing your your property in as many platforms and getting the word out to as many people as possible. So you know, this is this is a nice uh, nice thing with the 3D as well. So get rid of that. Um, continuing with the theme of why it's important to have a um, you know a virtual virtualization of a property. Um, you can repurpose and you can reimagine existing properties. You know, so you know we say that uh, the uh, a 3D model is good for the lifetime of the property itself. So, you know, consider this particular uh, you know case that we have here, which is uh, the owner of the building who also happened to be uh, an architect uh, was looking at marketing. Uh, you know, doing a very targeted marketing to Trek uh, because they were interested in uh, expanding their operations and moving into some new headquarters. And so what I'm gonna show here is I'm gonna show the original building uh, as it stands. And uh, you know what you're gonna see here is here's the property itself. We can go around once again, click, drag to rotate around the building. And uh, you know since I didn't get to show a, a building off before, we'll, we'll just run through and show the, the power of this. You know, I can show the entire you know, second floor here, we can look at it once again, multiple angles, we can zoom in, you know, we get a nice bird's eye view, and this is far, far superior to looking at a static 2D plan where you're you're looking at it overhead and you're trying to figure out, okay, where's the doorway? Oh, I see there's some steps and I see the arrow. You know, you're really trying to figure it out. There is no figuring out here. There's, there's, no, um, there's no barrier to understanding because I can look at it any way I want and I can figure it out. Um, so we can also jump down to the first floor. And so, you know, when I was talking earlier about drilling down uh, into the information of a space, it's not just drilling down in the sense of having data overlays and all sorts of stuff. It, it's a matter of being able to peel away layers of the building itself and go further in, further in, further in. And ultimately, after we've got a great understanding of what the overall floor plan is, we jump, jump right into the space itself. And, um, you know, like I said, this is the property as it stands today. And, uh, you know, we can take a quick, quick look at what this space looks like. But um, what's really important is that this particular client wanted to market the Trek, as I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a revised, um, you know, visualization of the building marketed to Trek itself. So imagine going into a presentation you are trying to sell this this piece of property, uh, be it a building, be it a home, be it whatever it is. And um, you know, your target audience is looking for something that speaks to them. In this case, it is Trek bikes. 
Well, you know, you can show them the building as it stands and you can say, you know, imagine yourself in this space. And you can show them a few drawings, maybe you've got something mocked up, or you can do what this client did, which is turn around and say, okay, I want you to transform my property into something that I think would be extremely appealing to Trek bikes. And I want you to give them a vision of what this space could be. What is the future that I see in, in uh, the value of this space for them? And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick look at the uh, change in the layout and structure to help suit the needs of the client. And actually what we're gonna do, let's go straight to what is called the museum. So what this architect was re-envisioning uh, for Trek is, uh, you know, I just took a walkthrough of this space earlier where, you know, it's just some, it was some offices sitting over here on the left-hand side and, you know, very bare bones, you know, site existing as is. And uh, now we're able to say, take a look at the art of the possible. Imagine yourself in this space and we'll actually just drop right in. Imagine that space transformed. We've got the ceiling, uh, you know, into a much more um, high tech kind of structured, deconstructed look. We've got a presentation screen up front here. We've got these desks set up. And uh, as we come through the space, we can see that we've got like a, uh, you know, it's a museum of the history of bikes of Trek. And uh, we've got a new layout of the offices and we can walk through the entire space. New color schemes, new layout. Um, you know, visualized in a way that is um, not only easy to tour, but makes it very, very appealing and, um, you know, really adds to the marketing capability of the property itself. So, you know, you imagine trying to show somebody this vision uh, in 2D images and the, you know, cost involved in getting multiple renders out, putting the time in to try and, you know, refine them. Uh, what's great about this is we can do it in a 3D uh, module delivered right to your phone, right to your desktop, right to wherever your, your internet connected device is and have somebody actually experience it as if they're there. And one aspect that I want to make clear too, if and, you know, I haven't spoken about it yet is let's say you've got an Oculus Quest or an HTC Valve or, you know, you've got a high quality VR headset. This works right in there works perfectly. You put the headset on, you jump in, you open up the link, works in a high quality headset. But let's say you've only got your phone. Well, if you got a Google Cardboard, you pop your phone right into that, put it on, and once again, you have an extremely high quality tour on your phone that is a VR, a true virtual immersive experience. That's why this is so important. We're breaking the boundaries of having to have a dedicated device or having to download something to a specific computer or having to, you know, create it for a particular application and then transferring it over to Apple or Windows or whatever to make it easy to share. This is as easy to share as possible, works with or without a headset, and really tells the story of the space in the best terms possible. And that's, that's really the big point here. Once again, you know, I'll just do the auto tour real quick while I'm, you know, going through this. And you can see this is going to take us through the space. And, uh, you know, that was the idea is, uh, you know, he's up in front of the uh, executives over at Trek. He's trying to sell them this property. And he could do it one of two ways. He could do it with a PowerPoint and a bunch of 2D pictures and, you know, try and talk his way through it or play out this presentation mode Go in there, start explaining the, uh, you know, the, the, the change, design changes and the cues that he could see on the outside of the building, you know, putting some tables up on the deck up on top so that people can come out and they can kind of, you know, when they want to eat or when they want to relax and take some lunch, you know, and then ultimately it will dive into the museum, do a walkthrough, jump into the conference room, do a walkthrough. And uh, this is something that when they walk away from the meeting, they're not taking a pamphlet of papers or trying to find a PDF on their computer later on to take a look and remember what, you know, what the vision was. Uh, once they get back to their offices, they can open the quick tour if he's given them the link, you know, or embed it in a website. So uh, very, very powerful for taking an existing property and marketing it to somebody in particular or just if there is a structural change to it, 
uh, you know, come back to us. We add the additional room. We add the additional floor to it. Maybe we move some walls for you. Uh, the 3D property is good for the life cycle of the property itself. It's just, it's, it's forever there. It works. It works great. Chris, that, that's awesome. The um, just before you move on, the when you did that tour in that that uh, it's one scenario where the executive was in front of the group and the, you had the player in the background, could you actually put an audio track in with that so it just runs with the uh, with a uh, a narration so that when someone plays yeah, it on their, their browser, yeah, you track. know what we can do and. It, and what we, what we would probably do for that case is we would just embed a little, it would just be a little hot button right inside the scene. And once they press that, this way, you know, because a lot of times people start things off, they don't want to have like the sound that's going with it, um, you know, and then it has to download uh, initially. So we'd, we'd pop a button right there, you press play on that, and then you run through it, and it would just play the audio right through. So yeah, you could definitely do a an audio-based tour as well with it. I'm not sure if you're going to show it in this one, but in that one, you subtly changed the classroom and uh, i don't know if everyone noticed it but in the one scene there was a classroom with tape with desks and chairs behind it and the other was more of an auditorium and so with a click of a button we we're actually able to take that same room and transform it and so you can show yeah. alternative scenes yep. in the same space with with the click of a button so that was very cool i just want to make sure that uh, you may be maybe uh, featuring that in in this other case study but i thought that was uh, Im impressive. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and so, and here's what we're going to get to with this, and that's why I'm glad you brought that up, Jeff. Thank you. So this is uh, going to showcase uh, how one of the clients is using the uh, Quick Tour, which we can do. We can change out furnishings and such, um, but this is going to show the ability to, um, you know, the power of uh, customization inside of a scene and giving somebody uh, a visualization of what uh, you know what their choices and options are and they have full control over uh, their experience within the scene so real quick this uh, particular quick tour uh, is being embedded in a uh, website and uh, they're using it for e-marketing materials and, and all that good stuff but what i'm going to show in here that's equally important is the ability to get unlimited renderings out of a 3D scene. And this is the kind of thing that, you know, if you're doing traditional marketing methods, and, uh, you know, in particular, if you have, a, you know, a piece of property that's not built yet, uh, what's of, of special importance is getting uh, some sort of visualization. And for a lot of folks, you know, you go to a service bureau and you say, okay, I, I need to get, uh, you know, I need a shot of this, future state of this, um, you know, decorated living room. I need a shot of a kitchen. I need a shot of this. And so you're paying per rendering, you know, and each, each rendering is, you know, a few hundred bucks. And then you go back, if there's a change, then you get charged again, um, you know, all sorts of stuff that's, you know, not, not quite desirable. Uh, you know, and the main argument from our standpoint is that if you've got a virtual tour, it kind of, you know, supersedes all 2D media because, you have full interactivity. And that's really, really the most, uh, you know, the most robust way to get somebody's attention and have them understand a space versus 2D uh, images. But maybe, maybe for your marketing, for 2D marketing, and maybe for uh, additional images in a website, that is important to you. Maybe that's a big deal. You don't want to be sitting with just a 3D scene here. You want some 2D out of it as well. Well, What's great about this is let's turn around here and I'm going to go take a look at the living room here. Let's say I want a shot of this to go send out to some folks. I'm going to put it into a brochure. One click. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard. One click. And what you're going to see here in my lower right hand corner, it just captured a screenshot of that scene. So you wouldn't have to rely on anybody else to be, you know, to go grabbing the, the, the best shot that you want, moving a camera around saying, you know, can we just change the look of this? Can we just look a little bit to the left or right and give me a re-rendering? No, we give you a 3D scene. You go in and it's like, you know, it's like, it's like going back to the time for people that remember. It's the difference between having film in your camera and you have a limited number of pictures you can take so you're super careful versus now where you've got it on your phone and you can just, you know, 
take pictures of your dinner a hundred times over if you want. Nobody cares anymore. It's not a big deal. You're not, you're not limited by the amount of, of rolls in a camera. Same thing applies here. You're not worried about, you know, oh, okay, it's going to cost me X number of dollars per image, and if I want to change, it's going to cost me. No. You're getting a 3D scene. You come through to your heart's content. You want a shot of the floor plan that you can share up on social media or something. Say, okay, well, let me see. What's the angle I want? I'm going to go, eh, maybe I want to go three-quarter view like that. Peace. That's it. And now I've got a image of the floor plan that I can now embed in the website. And some places are actually charging for the floor plan. They're charging for an individual image inside here, an individual image here, an individual image here. And we're saying that's ridiculous. You know, why, why would you have to pay for each individual section? We can give you something that's interactive. A, number one, it's better already. And then B, you can go in and you can say, oh, I want to take pictures myself. You can come through here and take unlimited renderings. And uh, just to show that off here, we'll come over here to the fifth floor of this space. We'll come over here to say uh, unit two, which looks like it's a, it's a one bedroom, two bedroom. And uh, you can see how this is incorporated by the client. So they've got all these multiple images laid out here. And, uh, and this is per, you know, per unit. So very, very, uh, very important. And it's, it's a pretty big deal, you know, when, it, when we're talking about the value proposition of a 3D space. Uh, let's come down here to the two-bedroom unit real quick. So now what I'm going to show is getting back a little bit to Jeff's point of, uh, you know, the customization of a space and why that's important. Um, so in this particular case, uh, you know, we've got these condominium units that um, – have four package offerings. So we've got, um, you know, uh, a type of flooring with a type of countertop with a type of um, cabinetry and uh, wall color. And since it's offered as packages, you know, you, you only get in four choices. Now we can do this a la carte, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, this is package A. And I'm looking around, I get a really great sense of what the color scheme is. I can see the floors are a particular type of wood. I can see the, the cabinets are white. I can see the color of the walls. Well, let's say I want to see the other ones. I want to see what, what the offering is. We go to package B, and immediately you can see loading up here is the floor color is, is different as well as the type of wood. The um, cabinets are, you know, they're still white, but now we've got a change in the countertops. And so we can start touring the uh, property with all these different, uh, you know, changes made in a uh, package offering. And I can get a far greater understanding of what that means to me. Click, click. There we go. Uh, you know, I can get a far greater understanding of what that means by actually experiencing it versus somebody coming up to me with some some, you know, uh, drawings or some photos of a similar unit, or maybe they say, okay, here's, you know, here's a different type of floor that we've got, and they give you a little, you know, three inch by three inch square, and they say, here's the carpet. I want you to imagine this carpet in this space, or I want you to imagine this chunk of, uh, you know, countertop, and you see this, this gray, you know, uh, gray granite with, uh, you know, little white specks in it. Well, you know, it's really hard to make that connection from piecemeal puzzle pieces into the overall greater picture of the space. And uh, we believe we can do a far greater job virtually by saying, let's put it all together, give you the option of laying it all out and then taking the tour. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, the, the big thing of importance here is the ability to not only see it on your phone, but to put it into a VR headset, which are growing in uh, not just popularity, but more, uh, more and more people are starting to use them. So, you know, I can come in here, I can put a headset on, and I can enter a one or a two bedroom. I can see whatever I want and put the headset on and physically feel like I'm walking through it. A click on the ground takes me there. Another click on the ground takes me there and ultimately you can see the floor plan. You know, we can do this with both. You can load up as many of these things as you want into a web page, compare, contrast. They work. They work great. We look back and forth on both of them. And ultimately, you know, we have the exterior here as well. What the heck, why not? We'll just load that up too. Chris, but, well, well, um, you know, there are a couple of questions that are running up on the, the clock here. So the, um, sure. 
the 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 concept I think a lot of the audience was getting was this was great for new developments. I think Trek showed how it can be used for repositioning, but how does it work with existing space? I mean, you, you could you could actually do this for a floor plate. Let's say you're you're leasing out. You've got a hundred thousand square foot building and there's a 10,000 square foot availability in that space. And it could be already demised in a funky way, or it could be totally clear. Um, and maybe you just want to speak to, to that, how you sort of can build out a, a space, not going into real fit. There, there's going to be another whole uh, webinar that we're doing in a, in a couple of weeks on a real fit tool, which is the full test fit for building out a space, but from a marketing standpoint, to be able to reimagine uh, of an environment, you can certainly use this for an existing and convert it. And uh, and with real fit, you can actually change the floor plan and the the layout and design on the fly, and then you create a yeah. new built, basically a new space yeah. and all together. Yeah, yeah. You know, and here's here's the thing. So there's a there's a, a couple of great use case scenarios for this versus uh, doing photography to, to begin with. So. You know, there's there's multiple options of showcasing a space, and uh, you know when we look at this, we can say, okay, so you've got something that's not not uh, built yet, and you've got some floor plans. You've maybe you've even got a Revit model, or you've got some you know rudimentary 3D model that you can't share with people that they can't experience, but you've got it as a plan and it's built out, whatever. Right, we can take that information. Uh, we utilize that, we build it, and we can make it uh, interactive and we can make it appealing for marketing. Um, but, but the the other the other aspect of this is that let's say like Jeff was saying, so you've got this um, you know you've got an office floor plate and you've got the walls set up a very particular way. Um, we can give you multiple iterations of that space with the walls laid out differently. We can we can in a way we can do our own test fit for you and deliver you multiple ways of viewing that in terms of like you saw me change the um, materials in the scene. A, B, C, and D. So imagine being able to run through multiple scenarios of walls laid out where you've got a break room here, you've got a break room there. Maybe the um, space is being redemised and being, you know, refitted. Um, we can definitely take that information in um, and and then put back out an interactive, uh, marketable tour. Uh, but another way that we're starting to find that people are are coming to us with is that so let's say you do have a space. And in this case, we do have a property that somebody just came to with, with this uh, this problem is they've got a building and the building's being renovated and it looks terrible right now. I mean, it does not look inhabitable. <laughs> so it really looks bad. Uh, the last thing you want to do is you want to show a building that's got, you know, uh, walls with uh, broken, uh, you know, uh, broken walls in it and the windows are or fading out and need to be replaced. And all this stuff is going to happen. It's just not there yet, but you want to get people interested. And so, uh, you know, so what we've done is we've taken the spaces as they exist and we've given the future state. We've now taken something that's actually existing. And instead of having the walls with the cracks in them and the yellowing and, you know, imagine this is where you're going to put your kitchen over here and we're going to offer such a great looking space. We're taking it and we're showing them the future state, and we're saying, here's what it's gonna be. Are you interested? And people are very interested. You know, they may not like what it looks like right now if they go to the space, but they look at the future state, they understand the future state, and that's enough right there. And it's a very compelling marketing uh, tool uh, in that case as well. Excellent, and what do you need to get started? The, um, the question about the can you start, do you need CAD, do you need pictures, do you need a floor plan? What What is it that is the deliverable to trigger a project? Sure, I'll take that, speak to that mic. mic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so essentially, uh, obviously, if you have a 3D Revit file or AutoCAD file, that's great to start with uh, because it guarantees uh, more accuracy um, as a template for us to work from. But uh, we can work from 2D CAD. We can work from a PDF uh, floor plan. If you have, if you don't have elevational drawings um, uh, and just some descriptions of uh, what type of windows are they, uh, what's the uh, bottom sill of the windows, 
you know, are they floor to ceiling or, you know, 36 inches off the ground, you know, what, how high are they? And uh, if, you have, if it's a building that's existing, if you have some reference photos uh, inside and out, then we can scale from the photographs and also know the building materials uh, to match from. So we've done things uh, as from as basic as a, a sketch on a almost on a napkin with hand drawing dimensions. Uh, as long as the the PDF or drawing we're given has either a sense of scale or a measurement on it that we can then get a sense of scale, then we can do that. Uh, so it's really just some floor plans, um, so elevational information, whether it's through photographs or drawings or just through conversation. And then uh, in terms of furnishing, you know, what's, what style you're looking for, if it's going to be a furnished space. So it's, we're very flexible in terms of uh, what can be provided. Yeah, and you know, the only other thing I would add to this, and, and this may not speak to most of the audience, but maybe there's one or two people out there that this speak to. Uh, one of the things that we found also uh, with a lot of these virtual tours is that we've been able to help people uh, in the design phase as well. So maybe what you're looking at is you have a space and you are trying to figure out, well, what color do we want the walls to be? Where do we want to place uh, this particular portion of the kitchen and, uh, and layout? And how is it going to feel when I walk through it? Um, so, you know, not for everybody, but for some people, that has been of importance. And we're able to give spit back a, uh, you know, a walkable VR tour that you can then look at and you can come back to us and say, uh, you know, the, the, can we move this cabinet, you know, this many inches over and can we move the fridge over there and then, you know, and, and, and whatnot. And so, you know, that's, that's something we can definitely do is we can help in the design phase uh, as well. So. Now, that's one key example we did for IPA for uh, their Latitude student housing project. Uh, they, it was under construction. Uh, we then built the virtual version of it a year before uh, opening the school for that school year. And all of the artwork on the walls was uh, elements that were available for purchase online. And so the uh, broker that we were dealing with, uh, developer broker, um, took images of what we were creating, gave them to the interior designers to then match. So we actually were driving what the interior designers were doing. And I would say about uh, looking at the photos of the after uh, state when it was actually constructed, about 80% of the decorator items that were placed in the scene were actually in those exact same spots. And that particular property, we increased their pre, uh, pre-lease rate by 9% up to uh, 93%, which was uh, 9% higher than what was expected. Perfect. I don't know if you want to comment on pricing, but uh, we, we, we've got... Just a minute left to go here, and uh, just 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 some scale because I think one of the the great advantages that you talked about was basically for costs of rendering, you're getting all of this plus the renderings that you would otherwise be requiring. Certainly. So something for um, for say apartments or condos, uh, we price it by the bedroom. So one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Uh, one bedrooms are starting at roughly $500 uh, for a one bedroom space. Um, and we could do the whole floor plan as well as uh, the individual units. Um, again, it's based upon uh, the level of effort. Um, for the single family, uh, see, we didn't show this all here, did we? Um, in terms of the I'll industrial. Pull up, I'll pull it up real quick while you're talking, Mike. Yeah, I'll do it real yes. quick while you're talking. For, for, um, this, for the. Uh, Industrial scene, since it's mostly a outer shell um, with some amenities put inside, and it's mostly vacant. Uh, the, you know, it's not a, it's not based on a dollar per square foot. So it's it's um, building out a larger warehouse does not take as much time as a building out a larger house. So it's we do have a pricing structure. Um, that we can work with, uh, and then those are starting prices because you'll see here in the LaSalle house that they upgraded uh, after we delivered this initially, they upgraded the VR version of it twice to add some more amenities to it, like the uh, confidence ceiling up above, and um, this office space was changed, the fireplace was changed, all the, you know, a lot of these amenities were upgraded uh, over time. So if there's a, a whole okay. detail matrix depending on square footage for for office and 
uh, retail or, or commercial space is a Multi, little bit multifamily. multifamily. Right, exactly. A unit uh, for, for, for condos. So uh, I think we need to wrap up, but this is fantastic. We really appreciate the, uh, the presentation and the interest from, from the audience. As always, thank you for joining us. Uh, please contact the, the team, Mike or Chris. Here's the information to reach out to them if you have projects uh, that you're working on or if you have clients that have projects that you think might be interested, uh, please let us, uh, let us help you help them and uh, help the marketing to, to launch new projects or existing uh, leasing environments that you're, you're working in. Again, we'll come back in a, a future session with the Real Fit Test Fit tool and cover that and show the, how that can help in actually shortening the cycle time and the iterations between uh, touring and actual build out and, and uh, uh, occupancy. So thank you all once again, hope uh, you continue to, to do well and keep coming back and taking advantage of the uh, brunch with Bobby and uh, prepare for the reemergence and the, uh, the work that can be done from home. So uh, hope you all have a great day and we will talk to you soon.